two pill weekend, I guess. Come on. All right, guys. I want to make a little video, and I want to tell you something. It's not a great big deal, but I tried this. I built a twenty-nine and tried to talk on it a while. This right here is an old snowman built twenty-nine. Ain't that funny that it's still laying around here? All right, guys. Here's my point. We're gonna run my two pill, sixteen pill on the antenna about 14.8 volts and we're gonna see something I'll show you something we're gonna be looking at that meter right up there on the top let's see got a 5 watt slug in it I mean 5,000 watt slug so them you be reading a middle scale 10s of thousand 20s 2,000 30s 3,000 40s 4,000 50s 5,000 okay now we're gonna start out with a little cobra I think I don't know which one I got hooked to. No? I got backwards. We're going to start out with the 2995. This is my radio that I taught Skip on. Y'all know it. That's a pretty good job. I mean, I ain't king or nothing like that, but I can get out there. I can even get out there just on 16 pill. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. All right. Now, I'm going to show you something. Let me get up here to my mic. If I does not slow, let me get focused in. Get out of here, fan. There's a fan up there, too. All right. Let's see what this radio swings average. Hello, audio average, audio average. Five, six hundred average, hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, hello. About five hundred average, six hundred average, okay? All right, we're gonna turn the PP on, 5,000 reverse. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two, 3,000 peak. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio. 500 average, you might bump six if you holler. Hello, audio, 29, 3,000 feet. All right. Now, we're going to go right here. Y'all can watch me. I'm just going to hook one coax angle, turn nothing. Let's see. And I'm going to hook up this old junkie snowman 29, which it don't swing nothing much. It's swing probably more than 20. Now, yeah, about the same, about 25 watts. All right, I hooked it up. Now, I'm going to turn this radio down. Here's what we're going to do. Same setup, everything. Let's look at the average. We're gonna look at the average power. 5,000 watt slug. Average power, let me get my camera still. There's a fan up there by it, phone's doing funny stuff. Oh, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, we got a thousand average. This ain't a hot 29 either. This ain't one of them comp 29s that's been really tuned up for average power, but I just want to make a point. Hello, oh, audio. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two thousand average. All right, we're going to go to PP. Reading that middle scale still. Hello, oh, audio. One, two, one, two. Oh, 2,900. So pretty much on PP, they're both the same. This one does 500 average. This one does a thousand average. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two. Oh, yeah, it does a little more than a thousand average. Back on the PP, hello, audio, 2900. So they're the same PP, but this one does about 500 more average. I'm going to tell you what you do. I've done tried it. If this was the case, I'd be talking on Cobra 29. You come hook this 29 right here up and start trying to holler at Skip, and you're a little like boo boo the fool. You won't talk to nobody. You hook up 2995 up every time you key, somebody come back to you. Same box. That's even with the big box, like. And when you run a big box into it, which I'm working on my big box, when you run a big box into it, like, you can be doing 2,000 average with 2995, and you can be doing 4,000 average with this. And that 2995 is still out talking. Now, why is that? Well, let me show you why that is. We come right over here. Let's look at this computer. Bird model 43. Can the model 43 AM measure AM modulated signals? Hmm, let's see what they say. I mean, I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm just an old redneck, okay? Here's what it says. 
The Model 43 is not the best choice to measure AM modulated signals. It will not measure the average power of a waveform accurately due to the fact of the peak and average power ratio of this signal is not to zero. A better choice is yada yada yada. Okay guys, that's my point. The way the radio is tuned and everything, the average can be manipulated. It cannot read the average correctly besides a dead key. And it does write on dead key. But modulated, I mean, just because it says it's doing something on average, like if it says it's doing that 1,000, that, that Cobra 29 over, it's doing 1,000 average, 1,100. Still does not mean it will out talk at 2095 doing 500. Right there's a the proof of the pudding. I mean, who else do you want to get it from? But I don't want to, you know, you know so like I said, I just want to share this with everybody. Uh, so that's why a bird made a PEP kit for this reason right here cannot read a modulated AM signal everybody thinks it's just for sideband but it's not the reason why you got a PEP hit, kit is because it cannot read an AM modulated signal correctly it'll read it but it won't read it accurately in other words you can finagle with the radio a little bit I could go up there I bet you I could make it do 1500 average with that 229 if I got playing with it and not on the, uh, the 295 won't do it. The 295 is still out talking. Why? Cannot read AM modulated signals correctly. Right there from the company. Now, so, you know, this is why we tune amps in PEP and not in average. And if this makes somebody mad, I'm sorry. I ain't calling no names or nothing like that. But I've just been seeing this last few days. And to me, I don't know a lot about nothing. But if you tune your amplifier in average or RMS, uh, that should just speak volumes about anything anybody needs to know. So guys, I'll look at it one more time. The old 29, average power, uh, 1,000 watts. And I said I didn't even tune it. PP, uh, 2,900. All right, we'll hook the uh, 29 up and I tried to run Cobras. I've actually tried to tune up a Cobra and I've made it do all that average and I've sat here and screamed my butt off and skipped and nobody answered me. And then I hooked my 295 back up and boom, same shit, everybody answers. All right, let's go back to our 295 just for kicks. Average. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, some guys are going to say that 295 will not talk at 29. I don't care what you say. Well, I know it will. Done it, done it over and over. PP, hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, same. Average, hello, one, two, one, two, two. I shouldn't even be showing this really because I'm really showing people like, well, why is this a 29.95 out talking 29? Right here. Well, again, can the Model 43 measure AEM modulated signals? No. Not without a pink kit. All right, guys. And I shouldn't be, like I said, this is really, a, I'm shooting myself in the foot right here because this right here, this this little right here is the reason why these guys got these big steel boxes out there talking skip. And they're just, you know, they're decking 10,000 bird. And well, no, I'm swinging 10,000 bird and decking 3,000 or 4,000, I'll say. And then I get on a pill box the swinging 10,000 PP and bust her ass. That's why, right here. Because they're tuning their box in average. If I take and tune a radio or a box in average and come up here and flip it on PP, I'll lose my PP. And that's why we're taking these pill boxes and running with so many steel boxes. If they tune their steel box in PP, they'd be busting their bu our butts more, plus their tube would be running easier. And they would be louder. But, you know, I don't know a whole lot. I've been in this, I've been in this since about 19, 1997 or 8, I guess. You know, I've been building boxes for about six, seven years now. I've been selling boxes in CB shops forever. And I used to run an old Dosey and all that. And uh, they're pretty good with the Dosey. I used to run a good CB shop. Everybody loved it with the Dosey and a fluke meter. But, uh, Point being, that's that's why we can hang with them. So, guys, when you get out there on DX land, do me a favor. 
if you're out there, I'm not the baddest. I get walked on all the time. I mean, I ain't nothing. I'm a little fish in a big pond on 28. But do me a favor, just keep tuning them boxes in average all you can. Because when you do that, you give me a chance to come in her own pills and duck you, mud duck you. Which I don't do a lot of mud ducking anyway, but you give me a chance. Guys, I hope you under, hope that helps everybody. But look at it one more time. That's from bird.com. That ain't from Joe Blow or, or, or Goober's opinion or nothing like that. Can the Model 43 measure AM modulated signals? It cannot without a PEP kid. It'll measure them, but it won't measure them accurately or correctly. Every time you go to tune something, they'll jump and back and forth. It ain't correct. That's my opinion for what it's worth. You guys can take it for what it's worth. I don't sit, I just. So if I see somebody tuning a box on a video, an average RMS, I'm already turned off. But you guys be the judge. Like I said, I'm just a little fish in a big pond. I'm sitting there building boxes, enjoying it, doing what I enjoy. Make a little money, take the old lady on vacation or this and that. Uh, I don't uh, I don't make a fortune. Anybody thinks you make a kill and do this, I urge you to try it. It's a job. All right, guys. Please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope you all have a good weekend out there. There's old Spade Spade. Hi, buddy. Tell him, Spade. Say, read on Bird's website guys read bird's website for all the information you need and that's really applies to any meter on average all right guys y'all take care you know who it is your friend 10 zero and eight beers catch you later bye bye